There is, however, one change that I want to make to the to the code, and uh, the change that I want to make is to use something called movie DB to get the movie information. All right. So the movie IDs are hard coded, like I told you. Everybody is going to get two movies, right? That they've rated, and it's, they're going to get the same rating. However, the movie DB is going to contain movie information for whatever movie ID that you pass in. And I want to use that to make an external call to an existing API and get movie information, which is live movie information to show to our users. All right? It's a good example of showing how you can make an external call and how there are points of failure that can be introduced into the system by making an external call. The more external calls, the more interactions you have, the more failures you have. So having extra points of failure is handy because of the workshop that we're doing. Hey, we're doing fault tolerance. So it's good to know that good to have reasons why things could fail. So what is MovieDB? MovieDB is a site which is kind of like IMDB, kind of sort of, but uh, it's something that you can, you can register, create an account, and you can go to the API section over here. And then uh, here you have uh, some pretty good documentation, pretty good examples which tell you how to discover a movie. You can make a request given a movie name and it's going to give you that. It's, you can make a request with the movie ID. It's going to give you that. Now, let me go to the profile here, API. And here you see when you create an account, it's going to give you an API key. All right. This API key is what's required for making these requests. So this is the API key that you're going to be using for making API requests. And I'm going to be using this API to have the movie info service make an actual API call and get an actual movie information. All right. So let's take a look at this, uh, this sample API request. It's a uh, movie slash 550. All right. And the API key is a query parameter. And here you see you get movie information. I can change the movie ID to something else and get that movie information. All right. So this is the API that we're going to be using, right? We're going to pass the movie ID to it, get that movie information and return that back in the response. And uh, the response is going to contain like, uh, you have a title overview, which is, which is perfect for what we want, right? Okay. So now how am I going to add this to our, uh, our microservice, right? How am I going to be adding this? Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to my movie info service. And uh, if you look at the code on the GitHub repo, this is actually already there, right? So I have this section of the code, rest template, get for object. Uh, this is the movie info API, right? Uh, this line is already there. So I'm actually making a call to this api.moviedb.org slash three slash movie ID, and I'm passing in the API key. Okay, so I'm making that call. And then once I make the call, I'm gonna be getting the information, movie summary, I'm going to do the get title and the get overview, which kind of corresponds to the, the properties that you saw there. I think I have it in the Pojo there where uh, I can get the, the overview and the original title properties from this response. And uh, this is what I'm going to be returning. All right. So this is not all that interesting. The interesting part really is how I get the API key. All right. I'm getting the API key from a property in my property file. So you see I have this value annotation annotated with api.key. This is how I get values, configured values from the application.properties file. Okay, so if you look at my uh, application.properties file here, uh, in the movie info service, application.properties, uh, this is the state of the code that I have checked in. I have API key here, so you can feel free to go create your, your own accounts and add your API key here. I'm going to be adding mine, and then uh, um, I'm going to restart the movie info service, and I'm going to show actual results in the response, which is kind of fun, isn't it? It's it's uh, it's a little boring to. Uh, look at hard-coded values. It's nice to look at some live values. So I've restarted the server and uh, the root URL for localhost 8081 is an error page because we don't have anything mapped there. I'm going to go to catalog slash user ID. User ID can be anything here. I'm just hard-coding the values, like I said. 
So uh, these are the two movies that we are getting back from the movie DB API. Cool. This is good stuff. Now, uh, the two movie IDs are coming from, uh, let's see here, the rating data service. So here is where I have hard coded these two, um, these two ratings, right? 100 and 200, and that's where it's getting the values. So here's the full API architecture so far, right? So we have three services again, but then the movie info service is calling an external API, the movie DB API, right? A slight addition we added uh, to the to the microservice, but nothing big, right? Nothing significant. Very few microservices, not a lot of interaction happening. Fairly simple stuff. Uh, 